but what do I have here? This is an early desk calculator, an early desk calculator that bases on an integrated circuit from Texas Instruments, the TMS0103 four function calculator IC. It's a Director 2 and was made by Eldorado Electro Data Corporation in Concord, California. It was made in the U.S. at that. And it's kind of an interesting device. Eldorado Electro Data was a manufacturer of uh, mini computers and test and measurement equipment. And I had the good fortune because when I bought this at a Habitat for Humanity thrift store for a princely two dollars, there wasn't much information about it and luck of all luck, I came into a conversation with a guy who had worked for Eldorado Electro Data around the time that this calculator was introduced. And he said that early models had a serious problem with an insufficiently protected chip that would be killed by static electricity discharges. And in the end, this ended up bankrupting Eldorado Electro Data, and the company came to an end after that. But some of their calculators survive, both under their own names and those of others, because they did a lot of um, OEM sales for other companies that wanted to put their name on an electronic calculator. Now this thing dates from the early 1970s. It couldn't be any newer than 1974 because that's when the company failed. But anyway, what's unique about this, not only is this based on an integrated circuit as opposed to earlier electronic calculators that frequently based on transistors or even vacuum tubes and mechanical means before that, but this thing also has a rather unique vacuum fluorescent display, which would have been fairly new for the time because a lot of electronic calculators before it either had a printer, some kind of a Nixie tube display, a Nixie tube being a kind of vacuum tube with formed letters in it that glow when energized, or even a CRT, like would be used in an oscilloscope or similar. So let's plug this in and have a bit of a demonstration. You know that this is a serious piece of equipment because it's got a three pin grounded plug on it, which is pretty wild. So let's just plug this in over here and see what happens. Wow, that was pretty cool. All right, now seriously, here's the real demonstration. Now sometimes this thing takes a little bit to turn on. I don't know if it's the filter capacitors charging up inside it or what. But anyway, once it is on, it works just like any four-function calculator would. That is to say it adds, subtracts, multiplies, and divides. There is a locking key that you can press labeled K for constant operation. And the constant operation is fairly unique in that it only works on multiplication and division. It doesn't work on addition and subtraction. There's a clear entry key and there's a clear everything key. And then of course there's the main keypad and some operation keys. Now this blank plate right here, on some models that were fancier than this, there is a decimal precision switch that sets it to two decimal points, four decimal points, or a floating point. Anyway, here it is adding two numbers together. We'll do two plus two and that equals four, of course and of course 3 times 2 equals 6. Now without the constant set it'll only do the operation once. But if you set the constant and then attempt a multiplication or division operation it will do it repeatedly. Now those of you who are paying attention have noticed something very unique already. Nearly every modern calculator ever made blanks its display while it's operating. But not this one. This one's a little different. And so it makes interesting patterns appear on the display during the time that it is, so to say, thinking. A good example is to divide a whole bunch of nines by one. And then you can really see a good example of just how this thing thinks. Anyway, I never really intended to be a calculator collector, and I know I use that line a lot. Insert insert your favorite whatever here. I never intended to be a whatever collector, but some of these things that I see laying around in places, they just kind of speak to me and I become intrigued by them and just have to take them home, especially if the price is right. And this thing, which is pretty chunky for a calculator, is a pretty cool piece of equipment. In fact, I've had it on my desk at work where it has attracted some comments and where, at being over 30 years old, 
It has also outlived a fair number of printing calculators that are used at my place of work. So all in all, in my book, this thing is a very cool piece of equipment, and I just wanted to share it with you.